Hello everyone, in this video I will show you a Laravel error during uh, migration of MySQL table first time. So first of all I will show you the <coughs> why this error occurred. <coughs> so I have been creating a basic Laravel app and I will show you what the depth problem of this. Okay, I have already installed the XAMPP latest version. Okay, currently Laravel latest version is 11 and in this version we have been showing this error. So okay so after uh, install of this project let's see this project so this is our laravel project let's uh, run this project so let's go to this project directory and type php artisan serve so let's see what happened so if i in the chrome browser type localhost 8000 so laravel project got launched but if i open up my env file you can see this is running on this SQLite, which is located inside the database folder, right? But we want MySQL as a default database connection. So how can we do that? So for that, let's uncomment this all of this. And in the SQLite, just type MySQL. And here, let's say my database name will be DB5. So just copy the name and open your PHP MyAdmin and here just uh, create a database called db5 okay now if i <coughs> just kill the server okay and if i again run the server again and let's say if i again refresh the server it shows the error right it is because we does not make the migration with our project so how can we do that so for that if i type php partition migrate so as you can see it shows a error so in this video i will show you that how to solve this error so solving this error i just found this article on laracast which is the official channel for laravel right and here it has also defined this problem so for solving this problem you just need to copy this code okay just a db collation and just open your db file or the env file and just paste this line so now if i just again make the migration again you can see the migration has happened and if i just refresh this you can see all the tables are here now if i just again type php artisan serve and if i refresh the page you can see our laravel project is running so this is the hack to solve this problem. I hope this video is helpful for you. Thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you in the next time.